Back at it again with another uh, Bordier vlog. So we are going to watch another Ultra Q episode. Ultra Q 6. Episode 6. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Para ko ba? Okay, okay. So, Ultra Q, episode 6, titled Grow Up Little Turtle. This episode is probably the most twilight zone it's not even the twilight zone but it's the most surreal like I know abstract I know story or episode that I've seen so far in this I know in this series this is episode 6 grow up little turtle this is may one thing lang na ano na na hindi ko nagustuhan hindi ko ano hindi ko kinayang uh, ano panoorin din sa ano sa episode na to may ano the whole episode is centered about centered around this kid named Taro and he has this turtle um, and he brought it to class and ano his his teacher saw it I know, and confiscated it for a while and Taro is known to lie a lot he's a liar he's a kid who lies I mean most kids I know, he, they tell stories I know, coming from their heads and the things that happened to him in this I know, in this episode are I would say I remembered or I recalled this movie called uh, uh, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen or the uh, no, the misadventures the, the famous Bar basta si Baron Munchausen search it up this episode sort of uh, no, reminded me of that uh, no, that character si Baron Munchausen is this is this character na ano uh, he tells the he tells such such wild tales, such fantastic, fantastical tales. But he sees it as the truth. He sees it as something that actually happened. And this episode, Grow Up Little Turtle, is somewhat, somewhat, I know, similar to, I know, to, to stories of Baron Munchausen. This kid experienced something like that. He went into this I know different realm I would say the the, the Twilight Zone realm pero I know, nothing made nothing made sense pero that doesn't really matter with this kind of episode it's sort of a kid's fantasy it's really a fever dream <laughs> talagang ano sobrang iba niya sa ano dun sa mga dun sa limang episodes na napanood ko na and I say that in a good way but also there's just this one thing na ginawa nila yung kasi may part dito na ano na there are these bank robbers these mafia looking bank robbers na ano parang hi, ano parang hinabol ni Taro yung bank robbers na yun kasi yung turtle niya nakuha ng ano, bank robbers in the process of escaping or something tapos parang ano parang may part dun sa ano na nagtatago sila tapos yung isang bank robber he's ano he's holding this machine gun looking thing um and Taro gets a hold of it or the bank robber gives it to him and ano kasi medyo nainis na siya na ang kulit ni ano ni Taro ni Taro yun. Tapos si Taro, ano, parang pinaglalaroan niya ang ganyan and then 
He holds it like ano, he holds it like uh, one would hold a gun, a machine gun. And yun, there's a part, there's a part na ano, he <laughs> he points the barrel on his face. Like he looks through the barrel, through the barrel hole. And ano, ewan ko, parang it only, it just triggered me na ano, na this, this <laughs> Well, ano kaya there ano parang kasi active yung ano active yung machine gun na yun eh. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a fake gun kasi kasi they already showed na it was capable of shooting uh, even if it's just like ano like like ano parang ang tawag yun, yung mga fake fake uh, uh bullets or uh, parang ex, ano parang yung fire firing ano lang wala nakaka-trigger yung part na yun parang natakot ako for <laughs> for for that moment that quick moment na ano is he is he gonna blow his face up or ano <laughs> like that's what that's what huh. if you watch kasi ano link is in the description if you want to watch this Pero yun nga, this was this was a roller coaster of emotions of a, of an episode for me. So so yun. Um, I wanted to give it a 2.5 or a two stars, um, two stars out of five. Pero ewan ko, if you disregard if you disregard the gu- the machine gun thing for a moment this is a quality story or this is a quality episode kasi sobrang out of ano out of ano parang it's all the st- the episode is all over the place and it's so, it works well for a kids story pero having the machine gun scene negates that fact that factor the 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 filmmakers or the the ones who filmed this did not think at all when it came to that para siyang rated ano na this is not something kids should you know should watch but it is a kids show so i'm very conflicted conflicted story wise or episode wise or quality wise this is definitely a 4 out of 5 or a 4.5 out of 5 but I'm gonna give it the the balancing the balancing score of the balancing score of a 3 out of 5 stars yun lang 3 out of 5 stars like and subscribe if you have not already hit the bell to get notified and um yeah <laughs> grab it like I was, ano, parang ganyan yung, ano, yung reaction ko nung, ano, like I hold my forehead whenever I'm, like, ano, frustrated or whenever I feel something, you know, within a scene like, that's just my mannerism yeah, you know, if I'm doing this I mean, if I'm doing this like, you know, you that's how you know na, ano, <laughs> I'm feeling the scene, yeah Yun. See you tomorrow. Um, I might. Uh, kasi iniisip ko, parang ang, ano, ang, tagal, ang tagal bago ako makakapanood ulit ng movie. Kasi sobrang dami ng mga episodes na to. So what I'm gonna do, tomorrow I'm gonna watch a movie. And then the the next day after that, I'm gonna watch another episode. And then the next day after that, I'm gonna watch a movie again. Alternate siya. So episode movie, episode movie, episode movie. Para lang mabalance out ko yung ano. Uh... So yun, yun lang. Um, yeah.